Hey guys, Jordan here. In this video, I'm gonna be answering a real estate photography question. So let's get into it. All right, so today's question is, is there a mouse you recommend? Do you use a mouse or pen to edit in Lightroom and Photoshop? So I'm all about using tools that are gonna help you speed up your workflow, especially editing. Editing can be pretty tedious, especially with a mouse if you're just using those sliders on the side. Um, it can get old fast and it can be really challenging to kind of to fine tune your adjustments with the mouse. That being said, the mouse that I use is just the uh, regular Magic Mouse 2, I believe, from Apple. I get really annoyed if they start to get laggy because sometimes, even on a Mac Pro, it doesn't move around. So then, I actually had a black one. I still have it. I'll bounce between things, but sometimes Bluetooth isn't the best for the most uh, fine-tuned adjustments. I found that Maybe I have too much electronics on my desk or something and it just doesn't have the best connection with it. Yeah, it is an issue that I deal with sometimes with the mouse, but typically it, it you know, this mouse is pretty basic, but it, it works um, very well. For editing in Lightroom, I'm not a pin guy. I don't like to uh, use an external pin, but I will tell you a tool that I use for editing, which is right here, which I don't want to pick up because it'll mess up my things. I'm a big fan of the loop decks. Now I'm not sponsored or anything like that. It's just the tools that I use that help me um, change. So the one that I use the most is probably the cheaper one. I, I believe it's a loop deck plus and it has dedicated knobs for exposure, contrast, clarity, blacks, whites, shadows, highlights, temperature, tint vibrant saturation, and also dials for individual colors. So if you are adjusting hue, saturation, or luminance, it's really easy on the keyboard. I also have a Loop Deck Live over here I use for presets and stuff like that. Um, and I have, the, I believe this is the Loop Deck CT, and I have some other settings over here where I can quickly just push a button. So instead of having to scroll down and always uh, check buttons, you know, uh, you can you can set this up how you like it. Now, out of the box, a lot of the settings I wasn't a huge fan in, so I fan of, so I had to uh, go in to Loop Deck and change like what buttons did what, and, and spend a little time customizing it the way that um, I like to edit in the in the buttons and stuff that I use um, for real estate photography. So, anyways, those are the tools that I use that help speed up my workflow. Um, I haven't really experimented much with the pen. I know uh, some of my students that I've talked to, they do um, use the pen, but um, just hasn't been part of my workflow. Maybe it is if it if it really uh, in, improves my efficiency, but I will definitely say that the keyboard, out of all of these, is the cheapest one, the Loop Deck Plus keyboard with the dedicated knobs. Really game changer because I can adjust way faster using the keyboard than a mouse with the slider. Um, on the side for you know all these things and you can also customize it there's a there's some custom wheels as well so anyways uh, I think that's gonna do it for this one if you're interested in learning more about the real estate photography business you can check out my free workshop the link is in the description below that's gonna do it for this one reach out if you have any questions we'll see you guys on the next one <music>